Hi, Stitchy friends. Welcome to Cross My Stitches. My name's Jackie, and today is December 29, 2023. I cannot believe how quickly this year has gone by, and it has been super fast. I know the saying is, the older you get, the faster it goes. I have to tell you, that's absolutely true, because I don't know where this year went. I blinked my eyes, and it was gone. And although I got quite a bit of stitching in, I feel like I didn't get anything done. But we're not here to talk about what I finished. We're, talk, we're here to talk Whip Parade. Yes, so let's show all my projects that are still on the table to be worked. I do have 14 active whips. I have a couple of things that I have gotten rid of. You want to come up? Huh? Do you want to come up? Come here. Bestest. Come here, Paisley. Oh, I haven't shown Paisley in such a long time. There's my little Paisley. Say hello. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? This is my Paisley. She is going to be, I think, six next May, maybe. And she is my ball of fluff. As you can see, she is very long haired and a calico. And I love her madly. Now I'm going to put you down. Whenever I'm sitting at the table or anything or in my craft room, she always wants to come up and just pat me in the, on the leg and talk to me. Anyway, I have 14 active whips. I had a one more. I had to think about it for a minute. I have one more that I was going to show, but I'm going to um, stop because I wasn't happy with the way it was coming out, and I'll restart it at another time. So I'm not even going to show it. Um, I have whip starting back to 2017 up to the current time, and I'm going to go through them one by one with you, let you know what has been worked on, what hasn't been. I did spend the last couple of days working on whips that I have not worked on for the whole year. So I took some time to work on a, several of them so that they would have some kind of stitching in 2023. And I'm not going to discuss any plans beyond um, my birthday starts, which I talked to on the previous video. And I'm just going to show whips. So let's get started. My first whip is my oldest whip. It is from 2017. And it is Miss Christmas Eve. And I did her on a piece of... 32 count opalescent, um, I want to say it's, let me see, I've got a note in here, silvery moon that I over dry, I over dyed with writ dye, with tan, not tan, gray writ dye. I'm using all the call for colors and I started her on Christmas Eve 2017 and she is completely stitched except for the beads and I don't know why I keep putting her off. From getting her beads put on but there she is all beautiful waiting for beads for the last year and I still haven't got it done so I think I'm going to have to put her on the stretcher frame and just start working on her at least once a month and that's kind of where okay so I said I wasn't gonna talk about plan okay. I changed my mind um, my plan is because I have so few whips, I don't have, and I'm just astonished that some people have 50, 60, 70, 100 whips. I, it's wonderful. I'm not saying anything bad about people that have that many whips. I would have anxiety over that. I mean, even at 14 and I'm bringing myself up to 20, I have a little anxiety, but not enough to go get panicked about it. And those that have the 60, 70, or 80, I've got hair in my face. Those that have that many whips, well, kudos to you. I know I would have a panic attack because I know I wouldn't get them all done before I was dead. <laughs> so I try to keep it low. I think the most I've ever had was 26 whips. Right now I'm down to 14, um, actually 15, and I'm about to go up to 21. So 
because I have six new starts on my birthday, Christmas, or not Christmas, new, I don't even know when my birthday is. <laughs> new Year's Eve, I'm starting six new projects on the 31st for my big 6-0 birthday. So I have all those projects picked out. I talked about them on my previous video, but I will tell you right now that I think I'm waffling on one of them and I may change it. So we'll see if I change it before Sunday. I probably will. If I have all the floss and stuff, I probably will change that. So anyway, I need to put her on the stretcher bars and get her worked on and get those beads on and get her done. Because one of my, my excuses was that I couldn't find a frame for her. So, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. And I found a frame for her. So it's sitting in the garage waiting for me to get her finished. And I have all her beads in her pack in the bag here and i just need to work on her even a little bit at a time and that is did i say that already my plan is to touch each one of my whips at least once a month even if it's just one thread one length of thread i have to touch each of them once a month that's my plan am i sticking to it for new year's i have yet to stick to a new year's resolution i have yet to stick to a stitch along i have deadlines, everything just kind of falls to the wayside. So I'm going to say that I'm going to attempt to do this and see how long can I keep myself on this plan of touching everything once a month. Okay, we'll see. I'm going to keep track and see how far I get before I fall off that wagon. But anyway, so that is my first project that's 2017. I got to put my phone back on because I'm following my phone. My second project was started in 2018 on 9-11. So that's tw five years. And here's Miss Lady of the Flag. And I still don't have her completed. I did work on her this year. I just haven't worked on her consistently. So this is where she is at. And I'm still working on the one side. I haven't even gotten to her head or anything. I've been working on the flag. And this is 32 count We the People fab fabric from Fabric Flare. And you can see this is like an extended piece. This, um, if you're interested in this fabric for Lady of the Flag, make sure you contact Cindy Sorley at X Stitch Express. She has this fabric in the extended size for Miss Lady of the Flag. So that's the place to go to get it. Otherwise, you may run a little short if you're um, using the standard size of this fabric. So there she is. I've got a lot of the flag done. I'm getting close. And once I get the rest of this done, I may move over and start working my way up on her. But it's been five years and she's still languishing and I haven't... I need to make her a priority and say that every patriotic holiday, I will work on her for two days and see if I can put a dent in her. So I'll have to look up and see what dates the patriotic holidays are and post them in my calendar so that I make a point of working on her for two days on patriotic holidays. My third one, and I haven't mentioned this before. I guess I should have mentioned this. Um, the bags, if they're not my bags, I'll say like this one here is holding um, Miss Lady of the Flag. And this was made by Victoria Martin, which is Victoria's Crafty Room. We did a bag exchange. She made this one for me. It's got a little J on it. And so just a cute bag that she had made for me. This bag was given to me by... Jennifer stitching in the bluegrass, and it's got the Teresa Kogut fabric on it, and just love this bag. And this holds my map of Hawk Run Hollow, and I know you all know what this looks like, but I'll show it just in case somebody does not. This is map of Hawk Run Hollow. I started this in 2018, October 1st. So again, this is five years old, and I really didn't have, at the beginning of the year, I really didn't have anything but the trees along here and then part of the wing of the hawk. That was it. Nothing else was completed. 
So this is what I've completed this year. And it is stitched on a 30, sorry, I'm getting dry mouth, hold on. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't talk a lot, so when I do, my throat gets dry. Uh, 36 count doubloon that I over dyed with tan grit dye. And you can see I got quite a bit done. In fact, this week I did the banner he's holding that says Hawk Run Hollow. And I also worked on the little sign that's below the schoolhouse. So really loving this. It's a beautiful design. I need to get it done. Five years. Five years is too long for a whip to keep going. I kept saying I was going to try to keep my whips to uh, no more than three years, to have a whip no longer than three years. And I was working quite a bit on my older ones to get them finished, but I still have a ways to go. So it might take me five years to get caught up to the three-year mark. We will see. And of course, if I didn't mention this before, you didn't know this, I haven't ironed anything, okay? I don't have time to iron. <laughs> so sorry about the wrinkles. If that, that's, you know, makes you not want to watch, it's okay. You can move on to the next whip parade, but I just don't have the time to iron all my whips. Even though there's only 14, I just didn't feel like it today. My next one is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Now, this is a 2020 start. And I started this 412 of 2020. Everybody has seen this before. And I have put some work into this. I hadn't worked on it for the whole year, but I put some work into it the last couple of days. And I'm pretty, oh, got threads hanging off of it. I'm pretty proud of myself because I was able to get a lot more of the white stars in and then move the, the blue grid down further. So this is a piece of, I think I hand dyed this myself. Uh, nope, 36 count bramble that I over dyed with, with gray writ dye to make it darker. So there it is. I'm not sure if I'm going to do something special with the states that we have lived in or the ones that we were born in. I was thinking about like mine is Massachusetts, which is right here. I thought about outlining it in red. I'm not sure if I will or not. But I'd finished quite a bit of more of the stars and then moved all this down further. So in the last couple of days, I've made some progress. Sorry about the string that's hanging in the way, because that's where my needle is and I left off. Let me get my needle back up here before I lose it. So, and if I didn't mention this before, I am not a professional floss tuber. So sorry for all the clubs and uh, anything else that looks kind of odd. I don't do this for a living. <laughs> I do it for fun. So I appreciate your patience as I make mistakes showing and talking about my whips. Uh, hold on just a second because I dropped the pattern on the floor. And as you can see, I haven't moved any of my Christmas stuff yet off of my hutch because I got lazy and didn't feel like it. Um, just saying, okay? Okay, so the next one is a 2020 start. It is We Gather Together. It is from the Mill Hill Kit, or Mill Hill book, Autumn Gathering. So this is a sought after pattern right now. I know a lot of people are trying to find it and it's quite expensive but I am doing the pilgrims at the top here. And I am stitching on a 28 count, uh, I think it's a moss green. Yeah, 28 count even weave moss green by hand dyed by Rolanda. And I did do some work on this this year and put the Indian woman in. So I'm still working on her. And I think it looks really great on this fabric. I think it's a great fabric for this. So that's where I'm at right now. I still need to buy all the treasures that need to go on this, and there are a multitude of them. 
And of course, if you've purchased Mill Hill treasures before, then you know that they're quite expensive. So I'm trying to source some from a bead company that would be similar because they're supposed to be, what are you two doing? Sorry, cat and dog playing. Um, they're supposed to be um, leaves hanging and then I think some flowers or something. So I'm trying to locate those. We'll see what happens with that. But I started this in uh, November 8th of 2020 uh, with Bonnie Hutchinson. She was doing it with me. And of course, she long finished hers because she stayed on hers from the moment she started it. And I let mine fit in the bag. So I did get some work on this this year. I will continue to get it for the following year. I have, in, I'm now into 2021. I have the 12 month floral series. Sorry, mailman's here. And um, I don't have a picture here with me, so I'll post a picture here. It is from Ellen Maurer Stroh. She is, um, I believe, if you, if you, if you search for her name, I will try to down below to post a link to this, this, these patterns. It's 12 patterns. They're all floral. Um, you might've seen, um, Amy from Amy Loves Toads doing them. It, uh, she did the whole thing and she's got hers finished. I'm still working on, while well, I'm working on the second one now, but I will say before I picked this up earlier this week, I was still working for the last two years on the first flower. Okay, so I hate to admit that, but it is true. That's what I was working on for the last two years, trying to get this one flower done. Of course, once I got rolling with it, I was really feeling good. And so now I've made this my um, 30 minute a day stitch or my one, th one, one strand of floss stitch for every single day to see if I can put a dent in this because there are 12 different ones. I am stitching this. I am rambling. I know. I'm sorry. I am stitching this on a 28 count um, white even weave and I'm doing it one over one. So this is my first one that I finished this week and you can see I've started on the border for the second one. And they are just so pretty, the flowers. But unfortunately, and you don't need much floss, it might take one strand of floss, if that, to finish these, but none of the colors go into any of the other flowers. So you have to pull colors for each month and have this humongous pile of threads to do these. So I've pulled for the next two, three months. And I'm starting to separate them now because I only pull one full length of floss and put it on a ring for each color because I'm doing it one over one with, you know, and it doesn't take that much floss because this is really dinky, really dinky. So I love it though. I'm really enjoying it now. So I don't want to stop working on it. So once a day, I will pull out at least one strand and work on this. Um, do you want to stay out of those totes, little girl? Paisley's decided that she's going to commandeer my empty totes while I'm sitting here. Uh, I think that's part of, hold on, put my, my one little thread back. There we go. Okay, so the next one is my, I started in 2021. It is Mr. Jingles. He was started on 1029 2021 he is um by diane arthurs with imaginating and he looks like this and he is being stitched on 11 count fabric because he is quite large he is a stand-up as you can see he has actual wood legs and a base and he has a hat on his head and he's got jingle bell in his hands this came as a kit it was donated mm -mm. It was given to me by a stitcher and I have no idea. I did not keep track of her name. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. I'm still working on it. And I do love him. He is rather a quick stitch. I can do him in the car or anything because it's 11 count, but it is four strands over one on 11 count. And this is where I am currently. I just finished the bottom band today before I started filming. 
So there he is. And you can see he doesn't have a top to his head because he's going to have a hat on. So I didn't feel a need to stitch his the top of his head, but I will stitch um, the outside part so I can see where his head is to be cut. But there it is. I finished this part down here today. I only had like, I think I had the three black birds in and I didn't have any of the rest of it. So I got that stitched in. And I really have intentions of making a Mrs. Jingles, just um, make a change to the pattern so it can look like a female snowman, snow woman, a female snow person. <laughs> and he's coming along. I really would like to get him done in the next couple of months while it's winter time. I will tell you that we have flurries this morning or this afternoon, I should say, because it's the afternoon. So we are flurrying right now, which means working on my winter things is a must. And I will have to work on my last project I'm going to show you because that's what I do with this new project is snow days is his time. So on to the next one in 2021 Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already. It is a fabulous pattern. It's been around for quite a while. I think it's 2018. Nope, 2009. Ooh, it's been around a long time, but it is a fabulous Halloween pattern. And I do love working on it when I get a chance. I did do a little bit of work on it. Um, I'm looking for a tag to see if it says when, when I started it, but it was it was 2021. I'm sure it was around Halloween. I don't have it in front of me. It is on a piece of 28 count haunted. Picture this plus. It is the even weave version. And let me flip it around here. And this is where I'm at with it. I was working on the rider. His leg is in and I was working my way up. So you can see all his leg here. And then working my way up on the horse the last time I, I uh, worked on him. So there he is. I still have a lot to go. This is a big piece of fabric. So that's just the centerpiece. And yes, it has shades of like a greenish gray and a gray in it. I guess even weave dye is a little bit different than uh, linen when it comes to those dark colors so it's definitely different than what you've seen before in the grays so since i've already worked on this this year i won't have to worry about getting some stitches in before the end of the year sorry i've got to get everything back in because i'll lose track of where i'm at uh, we're into 2022 and this is rose quaker by sticking Dean von der Wehenberg. And if those of you who haven't seen this, it is an absolutely gorgeous design done all in DMCs. The colors are just absolutely fabulous. I have worked on this some this year. So I was trying to do um, a motif a month, but I think I kind of fell off from it. But I did get quite a few done this year. I think I did the four on the bottom this year. There it is. And this is a piece of 36 count Winter Moon by Zweigart. And I'm going to fold it in half. And so you can see all the motifs. Aren't those colors beautiful? It is beautiful. I love it. So again, I'm going to try to work on it every month. And if I'm lucky enough to get a motif every other month done, I will be thrilled. back in its bag. Most of these bags are hand dyed or handmade by me. This one here is a 2022 start and I don't have a picture. So I will post a picture here. It is the under the sea Sal from frosted pumpkin stitchery. I am stitching this on a 32 count piece of deep dream by hand dyed happiness and this is where I'm at with it I did work on it again this year so 
so but i still have a lot of ways to go it is so colorful and bright i love it on this fabric and i need to get this pulled back out again in fact i might start working on this after i get off this video because i love it so much and i want to get it done so i don't remember what day i started it but it was in 2022 and it's probably maybe a third of the way done i'm not sure if i'm going to put the big fancy border on it or anything i'm just winging it at this point and then i'll decide what i'm going to do with it as far as finishing what i will stitch or won't stitch so my next and i'm into 2023 is my halloween at hawk run hollow another one that most people should know exactly what this looks like because it's just absolutely fabulous there it is there i've seen this in so many different colors the fabric colors it's really fun to see what everyone's working on mine is done on a bluey purple fabric that i've hand dyed myself it is a i believe an 18 count ada i'm almost sure that's what it is and here is where i'm at I've only got the first block done. I don't know why I gave up and I didn't finish the first block because I didn't like, well, anyway, let me show you first. There it is. And what I didn't like was I didn't like the moon. So I want to redo the moon. So I didn't want to put the other cobwebs up and everything until I redo the moon. Well, I started stitching down to get a block down, but um, this is the color of the fabric. Uh, let's see if I can get it to like right there. That's a good color for it. And so I'm really enjoying this. I enjoyed working on that first one. I did make the, um, all the ghosts are in a glow in the dark fabric, um, fabric, a glow in the dark <laughs> floss. And it is the uh, DMC floss that is glow in the dark. So all my ghosts will glow in the dark. And I also, I did something else here. I'm trying to see. Nope, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I did my bats in a shimmery color, but I don't think so. So that's where that's at. I've only got one block done, but I did start it this year in October. All the called four colors on it. I'm doing it, I think it's two over two. Am I doing it two over two or one over two? This might be 20 count and I'm doing it one over two. I mean, one over one, sorry. Yep, I think this might be 20 count and I'm doing it one over one. Cause that's definitely one over one, over one. So it's probably a 20 count. Okay, next up is my Jack-O-Lantern stained glass window. It is by Funky Fresh Products. They are in on Etsy. No, I didn't know all this stuff was in here. Look at I got scissors. I'm always wondering where all my scissors are. That's where it's at. Okay, and I'm doing this on a piece of 20 count easy grid. It is a pattern that's a full coverage pattern, and I will post a picture here. And this is where I'm at with it. I've only done the black so far. I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm working on the black leading on the stained glass. So hopefully I'll get some of that color in. I think I'm gonna get this all the way down to the end down here where it curves in and then I'm gonna start filling with color so I can get the corner done. But I really do like working the one over one on this and the full coverage this is my first full and only full coverage piece and i am enjoying working on it i can actually because it is a 20 count and it's ada i can actually see it without a magnifier and makes it easy for me to work on in the car and stuff and i was working on it in my car during the summer so that is a 20 oh i lost my thing here hold on 
That is a 2022 start that I started on 912. So let's see, we got two more to go. Nope, three more to go. My next one was a sale that I started on January 1st, 2023, and I swore I was gonna keep up with it. And I actually ended up starting it twice because the first time I started it, it was on a piece of even weave. And I wanna say it may be 32. And well, let me look because I don't know. 28 count antique white Lugana. And so that was my start on it. And I didn't like it. I wasn't fond of it at all. So I ended up restarting it. And I ended up completing two of them. And it's on a either 36 or a 40 because I didn't write it down. I have no idea. But there's the two done. And that's as far as I got was January and February. And it fell to the wayside. I haven't put any of the beads in yet because I didn't want, because I use a hoop, as you can see, and I didn't want any of the uh, hoop catching the beads and stuff. So it does have the cry neck and stuff in it. I don't know if you can see that. And then that's as far as I got. My plan was, and I'll post a picture, I'm sorry, I'll post a picture here of what it looks like completed, was to do four, two and two, four, and then turn it at an angle and frame them for a piece in little frames. So it would be a, di a triangle, a diamond shape. It would be a diamond shape in a frame and there would be three frames with them in it. But that is as far as I got, I kind of lost my interest in it and I haven't picked it back up yet. So I have not stitched on this at all since February of this year. And it has all the beads and stuff with it, but it is what it is. And then I started Crochet Go Go's Winter Sampler this year on in August 1st. And I started it on a 40 count um, even weave. And I can't remember the name right now because it's right out of my head. And I wasn't enjoying it on that fabric. It is, it was very, the stitches were very small. Even though it was 40 count, they weren't easy for me to, to do. The color was a deeper color fabric and I was really having trouble finding the holes and I wasn't enjoying it at all. So I changed it to the call for color, which was a 36 count vintage country mocha. And I am doing this one over two and this is where I'm at with it. So for my last stitches, you can see at the bottom under the hour are the flowers, but this is where I've gotten with it. So I really enjoy doing this and there is a mistake in it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's such a slight mistake. You cannot see it, but I was not going to rip out a lot to fix it. So I just left it as is and I really enjoy working on this piece. And you can see right here, this is what I've worked on. The last time I should have ironed this. This is really wrinkly. Yeah, unfortunately, linen is very wrinkly. It's more wrinkly than um, Lugana or, or an even weave. So really enjoy working on this. I would love to start the autumn one as well because I love that one. I can't wait to see what she does for spring and summer. But this one I'm doing, like I said, one over two called Four Colors. They all are DMC, which makes it great. Don't have to worry about fancy floss. And then my last start was this one, which we had a snow day a week or two ago, and I started it. And it is Dimensions Sunflower Snowman. It's a kit that was given to me by a wonderful stitcher friend. And I am loving this. I've only got a little bit done on it. It is being done on a 16 count Ada. Even though it came with a 14 count Ada in the kit, I changed it to 16 and I softened up the Ada because I didn't like the stiff Ada. 
So this one's nice and soft, and this is as far as I've gotten. And that's the sunflower. That's the dark part of the sunflower on the snowman's hat. So I'm going to stitch on this as soon as I'm done with this video. And it's right here. And I'm going to put some more stitches in because we have flurries today. And flurries means snow day, snowman, snow day stitching. So that is all of my progress. I think it stopped flurrying out. Yeah, I think it did, but that's okay. I'm still going to work on my snowman when I'm done with this video. And that's all of my whips that I'm carrying into 2024. Now, hopefully I will get an opportunity, if not this weekend, then the following weekend, I will do a finish parade of all my finishes in 2023. And I know I have a ton. So let me tell you what I have in 2023. How many did I get done? Because I don't think I'm going to get anything else done in 2023. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and I have another finish that I just got. So 33 finishes for 2023. That beats my, that's my all time um, finish for the year since I started back stitching in 2017. So that is awesome. A lot of them are ornaments and stuff, but I don't care. It's still a finish. A finish is a finish. So I'm going to be glad with them. I really need to take the time to get everything fully finished. I am currently fully finishing an old finish that I have been dying to get finished for quite a while. It is a Blackbird Designs finish. And I can't wait to show you on my next video what I did with it and how it was finished because I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And so I look forward to showing that on a regular video. Um, maybe I'll show that on my finishing video. If I can get that finished, yeah, I'll be showing it on my, my finishing video, won't I? Because that'll be a, it, it wasn't a fully finished this year, but it is a, or a finish this year, but it is a fully finished for this year. So I think I'm going to share that then. And I think that's all I have for right now. Um, I did state some plans for next year. I need to write things down so I can see if I can follow through. Um, I look forward to doing my new starts um, on Sunday so that I can show them in my next regular floss tube episode see how far I got with each of them. Um, six starts in one day, so I'm lucky if I may get an hour a piece on them. We'll, we'll see um, how much I can get done uh, on Sunday. So I think that's all I have right now. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again in 2024. It's going to be a wonderful year. I hope everyone gets lots of stitching in, get some stitching in, some finishing in. Enjoy what you're working on. If you're not enjoying what you're working on, put it aside and pick up something you enjoy. Life is too short to stitch on things you just don't feel at the moment. The feeling will come back around. It certainly has for me on my projects from 2018 and 19 that I've picked them up and I've found the joy in them to get again to continue stitching on them. So don't be afraid to put it down and come back to it another time. It may be a year or two or more. But eventually you will find the love for that project again. And if you don't, then it wasn't meant to be. If there's just life is short, just stitch what you love. And I will see you next time. Bye.